I should ask Mr. Bryden for permission before attempting to milk his goat. What do you want? Do you have any fresh milk going, Spur? <laughs> if you can get any milk out of old Eunice, you're welcome to it. Eunice? Me goat. Good luck. All right, we are doing this. I... I... I'm not sure what that was. I don't know what's happening to me. All this superstitious nonsense must be getting to my head. <laughs> I'm not going near that thing again. I'm not going near that thing again. I'm not going near that. Well, did you get any milk out of her? I tried, and failed miserably. <laughs> uh, she's a temperamental beast. Perhaps you could milk her for me? I'd like to help you, lass, but I've just had a flare-up in me joints. I worked myself too hard this morning. I couldn't bend down to save myself. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> my wife would say I'm beyond any help, I'm certain of that. But if you know of any remedies for aching joints, please send them my way. I'll see what I can do, Mr. Bryden. I'm going to rest for a while. ta -ra now. Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? Don't you start an all. Do you have any fresh milk going, Spare? Sorry, lass. I've none at all. Never mind. Goodbye. See you soon. Hello. Oh, aye, she's back again. Can't a man drink his tea in peace? There's nought for you here, lass. 
horrible man. How many more sugar cubes is he going to add to his tea? He'll have no teeth left by the end of the day. Daddy, I have something for you. I do hope you remember it. I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right. Daddy, you must remember this, the day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Hmm, where should I put it? Perfect. It will catch the light from your lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child, and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Good day. Yes? Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? No, sorry. Not to worry. Farewell. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone.
day, little one. Hello? What's this? A fiddle bow? There's no string. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Don't be shy. I don't mean you any harm. What are you doing out here all alone on the moors? Do you live here? Hmm. Would you like me to fix your bow so you can play your fiddle again? Yes? Hey! Most peculiar. Perhaps I can mend the bow for her. If memories of my childhood violin lessons serve me right, bowstring is made from animal hair coated in a waxy resin. The strings don't vibrate without it. Hmm. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. Good day. Yes? Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Farewell. That's a peculiar idea. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. No, that won't achieve anything useful. That would be rather cruel to the poor worm. No sign of any movement. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Peculiar name. I can't quite.
Molten pies! Good day. Hey, yo. I met a girl at the Devil's Toe. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ha! Ah, well, you've experienced the local folklore firsthand, then, lass. Hmm. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. I'm not sure they would be interested. Fresh Scotch eggs! Good day. Fresh produce! Do you have any milk for sale? Not today, sorry. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. This looks like elderflower to me. The box is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. The produce is not mine to take. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house like? No, thanks. As you wish. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Behrman. Mr. Bryden has given me permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Marvellous. I'm sorry you've had to sort all this out in my absence. When do we start? Tomorrow, I hope. But first I need to recruit some locals to assist with the dig. It's too much work for me to do on my own. I see. Beaulieu has its fair share of strapping young lads. You'll find assistance, Miss Bateman. Thank you for your time. Aye, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. There's nothing else I wish... Hello there. Yes. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ted. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself, me guitar and me horse. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try.
I certainly don't wish to... T the road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. <laughs> 